Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and having a great day as usual. So it seems that every single person on earth was a bit tired of all the news from China because that was just happening way too much. There was a huge amount of panic that we all saw that the markets were completely going through over the course of a week. Yesterday, prices actually dropped for Bitcoin just below the $3,000 mark, which was something that a lot of people and a lot of analysts and a lot of traders were kind of upset about because 3000 was seen as the floor that couldn't be broken through which it did so around that time it hit around $2900 I, I want to say this was like the lowest that it hit I woke up this morning and then saw what the prices were right now it's, it's just about 24 hours from the last time that we spoke about this the prices literally went from 2900 to around 3800 over the course of a 24 hour period that is $900 within a day so for a lot of naysayers not anybody on this channel but there are a lot of people who didn't think that the prices would rise at all for some odd reason nearly all the coins have um settled a bit at this point so they're kind of like all floating sideways they're literally trading completely sideways at this point i think everyone is just kind of waiting for more news from china which i don't think we're going to get anymore at this point i think we know the the ban is going to happen so that everyone's kind of you know through with that but it seems that at this point in the um trading part of it we're kind of all waiting for monday to kind of push prices upward Either way, like I said before in another video, we really just needed the main news from China to come out that they were going to ban it because the little bits of information that we were constantly getting from them did nothing for the entire market. But now that we got it, we got it out of the way. Like I said, people are really bored of the doomsday news after a while because we know that it can't last forever. So this is where we are right now. Hopefully by Monday, things get back to normal. We're receiving a lot of tiny bits of news about like updates and stuff that are coming for certain coins. They're not really important to talk about because they're only like a month and a half away and there's only so many times we can talk about one new partial upgrade that is just for coders to be testing. But you know, I see at this point that prices will just continue to go back up unless we get some type of bad news, but hopefully that's not anything in the foreseeable future. So are you guys ready for a quick laugh? Remember the other day we were talking about um, JP Morgan Chase's CEO, Jamie Dimon, Demon? I really don't know how to pronounce it at all, D-I-M-O-N, I wanna say Dimon. Anyway, he came forward saying that Bitcoin was for drug dealers, low lives, murderers, only for people in, I think, South American countries and in North Korea or whatever he said. It was absolutely insane. Well, <laughs> there's a Twitter user by the name of I Am Nomad. Um, if you, like, you can literally find him on Twitter very easily. It's actually the first thing when you actually click on his page. I made sure to see that it was actually there, and it is actually there, comically enough. He found something very unusual, unusual being exactly what so many people in the comment section said would happen a couple days ago. Right after his announcement and Bitcoin prices dropped for some odd reason, because for some reason his 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 words hold weight in the crypto industry. I'm not exactly sure why. Literally minutes after he said that the price is completely dropped and you could see that JP Morgan Chase actually tr um, purchased a large chunk of Bitcoin right after the prices came tumbling down from his interview. We, we all could have seen this completely happening. There were so many people in the comment section who kept on saying that he's... They, they, we, we all knew that they were going to buy something. This is exactly what a lot of people have been saying about China as well. They wanted to crash the prices, which they did. They dropped it from around, it was like 4,800 to they push it to around 2,900. So, you know, so many big name people got into it, especially when, I don't know if they were working in cahoots with each other. I don't know exactly what it is, but we literally, I'm going to try and if, you, if I can't find the photo for you guys on like a high enough quality to actually put it as this week's, um, this day's photo rather, you guys can literally go to Twitter and look at I Am Nomad. It's like the first thing on his page. It's very, very, very funny. You can see that they purchased it almost immediately after he said his comment. I mean, we know that banks hate cryptocurrencies. We know that they don't really care for it and they kind of want it to completely vanish and disappear because it messes with their money. But we also know that cryptocurrencies will survive in some way, shape or form. It might not be Bitcoin. Like I always say, Bitcoin might not be the number one in the future because we have so many other great coins coming out, but we know that it's going to survive. And we know that these people when the banks eventually don't have as much power, they're going to be buying up cryptocurrencies because they also want a piece of the pie, which is pretty self-explanatory. 
So back in the news is um, BTCE. They are um, they're a cryptocurrency exchange that was actually closed by the FBI a couple. I want to say about a month ago now. It hasn't been that long. There was a whole bunch of controversy because they were another website that people thought that they had become insolvent. People didn't realize what was actually going on with them. Why was there an investigation against them? People thought it was something like Cripsy, et cetera, et cetera. People thought they had lost their money. They have apparently reopened their doors under the new name Wex.nz. That is W E X dot like literally the dot and nz as their new um website name i don't know why they chose those specific uh things or why that domain name but good for them that they're back open so under this name the company of course offered thanks and apologies over the previous issues and thanked everybody for their patience telling people that their former balances that they had on btce have been swapped over to the new platform so if you had money with them this is probably very good news as there were a lot of people online talking um you know saying you know we want our money which has happened to many other exchanges they completely disappear but it's very nice that they have actually come forward and say you know we still have your money we're going to help you out with this but a lot of people said that they had a lot of issues when it came to signing in to wex so don't know what that was about exactly but wex has come forward saying that their website is currently running in test mode they don't want any other intrusions they don't want any other hacks they don't want anything bad happening to this website so they're trying it under a test at the moment but people will be able to get their balances that they had before on their website like i said this is very good news if you guys had money with them um especially because sometimes if you think that your money is gone especially if you have a lot of money in crypto it's not the nicest feeling to believe that it's all up and vanished into someone's digital pocket but yeah, guys, it is the weekend. Um, there's not much, much news. Like I said before, it's it's a very slow period, except for all the price volatility and stuff like that. I hope you guys managed in some way, shape or form to get some cryptocurrency yesterday. A lot of people thought that the prices would continue to drop. But like I said, everyone was completely tired of all the news from China. And, you know, prices are trending sideways. So let's hope by the end of this month, we are back at $5,000 Bitcoin unless something crazy happens. But yeah, let's fingers and toes crossed. Alrighty, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, got something out of it. I hope you guys are having a great day, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you might be. And yeah, I will talk to you all soon. And yeah, you guys are awesome. See you. Hey everyone, thank you very much again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys would like to help me and the channel, there are ways to do so in the description below. Thank you very much and talk to you guys soon.